to entertain an idea or not to entertain an idea. My point is this. It would very much help humanity in general if everyone was able and willing to entertain ideas without accepting them. In fact, to get used to it. You should be able to entertain all kinds of ideas. You should be able to entertain every single ideology that exists. Even Nazism, you should, be, you should entertain that idea. But you, do, you should also get used to the idea that to entertain an idea is not to accept it. So you can read Mein Kampf or Das Kapital or uh, more moderate books like A Theory of Justice or what's that Goldwater one? Uh, I have it down here, The Conservative. The Conscience of a Conservative. I need to read a good book because I forgot the name of it. Anyway, you should be able to read these books and entertain the ideas there within. Oh, right, Theory of Justice is the progressive book. But without accepting them. And you should also accept that when, um, or you should also understand that when someone explains an ideology, explains how it works, and explains how you're misrepresenting it or misunderstanding it, that doesn't mean that they accept it. One time someone was completely misunderstanding anarcho-capitalism. I do not support anarcho-capitalism anymore, but I know about it. I know how it works. I know the argument. So I started to explain, well, actually, it's not like this. This is what anarcho-capitalism says and believes. And he just said, oh, I knew it. You really are an anarcho-capitalist. You, expletives, expletives, curse words, curse words, uncivilness, and then he blocked me. Like, you can entertain ideas, and you can talk about ideas without accepting them. I can explain to you communism all day long. Doesn't mean I'm a communist. I have listened to the Mein Kampf audiobook. It is all on YouTube. You can, you not only can you find Volume 1, but you can find Volume 2 of Mein Kampf on YouTube. The Turner Diaries are also on YouTube, and I've also listened to that audiobook. If you don't know, the Turner Diaries is a white supremacist fictional novel where a bunch of white supremacists attempt to overthrow the government through terrorism, pretty much. It's the book that made Timothy McVeigh do what he did, or at least it inspired Timothy McVeigh. So it's a pretty, I don't want to curse, disturbing book. It is not a good book. You'll, it's, it's probably one of the most cringeworthy books there is. Like, at least Mein Kampf didn't explain in detail the kind of messed up stuff that it planned on doing. And in Tinder Diaries, the characters actually carry out bad stuff, so it's, it's very cringeworthy. But I entertain the ideas. I try to understand, okay, why do they do this? Why do they think this? What's the motivation behind it? Why do they think what they think? You try to understand the thought process, and you go, okay, that's, that's what they're all about. But that doesn't mean I accept any of their ideas, because I do not. I do not think that, because it, it is, I don't want to get too um, hung up on that book, because it's bringing in a whole bunch of, like, ugh, feelings, just thinking about it. But anyway, yes, you should never have in your mind that I'm never going to read books that are very different than me, and diff very different in how I think. And in fact, you should do the opposite. Whatever you should, you believe now, Read the books that you agree with. Read the books that I agree with you so that you know what you, your ideology is. But then, right afterwards, read the books that are the exact opposite of your belief system. So if you're a Christian, read atheist and Muslim books. Read the Quran. If you're an atheist, read the Bible. If you're a communist, read Mein Kampf. If you're a Nazi, read Das Kapital. Not only, read, not only entertain the ideas that you already agree with, entertain all of the other ideas out there as well. Except I understand one thing though, and that is uh, practicality. There are lots of books. There's no way in hell that you can practically entertain every single political idea that in existence, because there's just too many. And I wouldn't blame you, for instance, if you didn't look too strongly into the Venus Project, because it's such a minority ideology right now, or you didn't look into ideologies that had their lifespan in like the 18th century and lasted for a little bit before going away. Like, for instance, there was an an atheist religion that had, that was survived for a couple of years in France, 
I wouldn't blame you for lo not looking up too much into it because it, it only lasted for a little bit of time and then went away. So, so in a practical sense, I can understand not entertaining all ideas, but you should definitely entertain a variety of ideas. Not necessarily because you think it'll you'll find something that you'll agree with and you'll change your mind on. And not necessarily because, although sometimes it'll help you strengthen your own beliefs and arguments or help you change your mind, most of the time it'll just allow you to understand why other people think the way they think. So you don't end up misunderstanding them or misleading other people as to what they believe because if you don't read the other people's literature, when you go to ideologically attack them, they'll just call you a straw manner and a straw man is when you misrepresent someone else's ideas in order to make it easier to attack. They'll, uh, they'll say that you're, sh you're straw manning them because of what you said when it's really just that you don't understand what they believe. You don't understand their thinking because you refuse to read the books that other people believe. Uh, this is saying in response to people I've met because, for instance, I've told people who don't understand libertarianism very well hey, there's just these couple books, they're just like a hundred pages long, or you just have to read like the ten page chapter in the middle right here, it'll explain the idea and you'll understand it. And they just flat out refuse to read the book. The book's in the library, they don't have to pay any money, they don't have to borrow it from me, they can go to the library, it's right there. But they just flat out refuse to entertain any ideas that they don't already agree with. Which is very bad. Which also, this video is getting too long already, so I'll just get to my last point, and that is with the internet. The internet was supposed to open people's minds. The problem is made their minds more closed. Because it is very easy on the internet to find what is called an echo chamber. It is called an echo chamber because what you do is you sprout out a you uh, put out a belief you believe in and then you can find tons of people who believe in it any belief that you can imagine, someone out there probably believes it. If, you, if you're crazy enough and you think the earth is flat, you can find a, a group of people on the internet who think the earth is flat as well. So any idea that you have, you can probably find a community that believes in it. The problem is, is that people often only add people who disagree with them. They only look at sources, sorry, they only add people who agree with them. They only look at sources that agree with their preconceived beliefs. They only join groups on Facebook that agree with them. So they go on the internet solely to strengthen their own prejudices and their own preconceived notions and the things that they already agree with rather than being intellectually honest and hard, intellectually hardworking and joining groups that they disagree with and adding people on Facebook that they disagree with and researching the opposite viewpoint of their own viewpoint. Which is so... All I'm saying is entertain all ideas, especially the ones that disagree with you. When all of society tells you that these beliefs are wrong, you should know what those beliefs are. When you join an ideology, and there are ideologies which are very much against the ideology you just joined, or you're, you've been in a while, find out why those other ideologies disagree with yours, and what those other ideologies are. This may sound obvious to a lot of people, but we all can get into a rut in which we don't do that. So yes, to entertain an idea.